All right, guys, what's going on? I decided to do a real quick video for you all, being that these gas prices are through the roof. So if you guys that want to take advantage of the uh, pier fishing that we have all around Long Island, Jones Beach Piers, Magnolia Piers, Bay Park, or just some of the surrounding areas by me. It's a quick little simple rig that works really well for pier fishing or even off the shore to catch fluke. Now, the season will be starting fairly soon. Um, so basically, you want to use a, a little spinning rod anywhere like 10 to 15 pound line and uh braid always is definitely better than the model for that so let me go show you how to do this rig real quick so we're starting off with probably like i guess maybe about a four foot section of monofilament this is only 20 pound test so it's gonna be hard to see so you start it off you're gonna take your rig you're gonna tie on one of these little lead heads these are very light lead heads again this is shore fishing and what we're gonna tip these with a uh, little gulp swimming mullets so the smaller the better start off tying one of those you can use any knot of your choice. I'll just do a simple clinch knot. I did that six turns. Then you come back around and pop it through the hole. And of course, moisten your knots. You always want to moisten them up. Do it off camera for a second. This little saliva works fine. <clears throat> And then you just basically pull down. And there's your first knot. I'm not sure if you can see that. And you would trim off the tag ends. Now your next step you want to do is you want to drop a swivel down the line. Any swivel will work. I just grabbed any simple little swivel I have here. These are the little cheapos. And pop that on there. Okay. And just let that drop down. Now on the other end, I have another jig, same one, but a little smaller. Lighter version of that, you can see the same style. Tie it on the other end. Now you can see there's all one piece of monofilament when I'm using. Bring it up again, you do your six turns on this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and the same thing, you're gonna bring it down. Oops, lost that there. Off camera. And you're gonna wet that up, just like you did the other one. <laughs> and pull tight. Oops, sorry, I'm doing it off camera. <laughs> so, here's your second one now. Pull that snug. Also with these, you always wanna pull on the tag in too, to snug up the tag. I'm just doing this real quick for you guys to show you the video. But, you always wanna pull down tight on those tag ends and snug them up good. So that's basically what it looks like. So now you have your two little hook, your two little jig heads on here, and you have your swivel in the middle. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna size it up. So I'll take my swivel, and I'll see where I wanna go. Now, the little one is gonna be a far one, and my bigger one will be my shorter one. So I'm basically seeing how I wanna size this up. So right now I have figured about, it looks to be about a foot right there, and maybe about three foot on the other one for the small rig, which is over here. And then what you want to do is once you have it where you want to go, you can take that so it looks like this. And you can dye it, tie it simple. I forget what this is called. It's not, I'm not this, I'm not, this might be the surgeon's loop or something. You come around, you go one, you go two, right through, and you come tight with it all. Again, remember, you always want to moisten all your knots, so off camera for one second. Moisten it up, snug it down. Okay, now there's your swivel. That's gonna go to your tactile angler's clip or whatever snap swivels you may use, All right? And then here's your rig, you'll see it come up as we go. There's your first one, there's your second one, right there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tip these with gulp. Actually, anything, you can even use bait. If you want to use fluke strips, spear and squid, whatever it may be, sea robin. But gulp is definitely my favorite to use on these little small swimming mullets. I believe that are four inch ones. Take those, cast them as far as you can, let them sink to the bottom, work them back slowly, and you will definitely hook up with these. This rig works great. I use it in my backyard all the time and caught numerous, numerous fluke on it. But check it out, real simple rig to you to make. Uh, you can do a single rig if you want to. You don't have to do the double. I just like the double because you will get double headers too. And you do ones a little bit bigger. This is probably like a half ounce, and this one might be a quarter or maybe even a three quarter and a half, whatever it may be. I don't, I don't remember the ounces on these, but great little rig. It works, it catches fluke. I love the red with the uh, chartreuse bodies. That's one of my favorite 
color combos for the fluke in the bay. But check it out, give it a try. If you like this type of content, please leave a comment, please subscribe, and also hit that uh, bell, this way you get notified when new videos come out. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.